battle. Several. And I want to see what's going down in this game. My favorite to bring it all home, sadly, in losers, though, WebJP going up against Burst, who has been having a little, uh, you know, extra share of the limelight here on the stream, but for good reason. You know, taking over Seal, taking it over, uh, you know, so many other players throughout the bracket run. And, uh, maybe, maybe also WebJP. Yeah. WebJP, unfortunately, losing to my boy, Sinji. Mm -hmm. Also, lover of apples, apparently. <laughs> He enjoys them. He partakes. Okay, I just love the idea there from uh, from Burst. Like, Sephiroth is a character where you have to be very preemptive with your decisions in order to make the most out of any of your hitboxes, mm -hmm. just due to frame data. So just trying to anticipate the timing with an up-angled fo up forward tilt really cements that the Iota, the tempo is in control by burst, and Webb has to play reactionary rather than instantly trying to find your way in and smother. It's just like a little tip of the scale in favor of burst, which is keeping Webb off balance just enough for the game to be even. Yeah, we definitely saw that momentum shift, though. The moment that Webb looked comfortable enough to fight back, it's like the gears just shifted into drive, and unfortunately, oh. maybe he shifted uh, into neutral there and off the stage. Yeah. yeah, that's so unfortunate right there. I don't think I've seen Webb miss that on stream ever. Well, yeah. you know, save for the last Xeno, yeah, I guess. Right? Yeah. The showman, <laughs> to <laughs> say the least. He's got to make it interesting. Yeah. It's like, here he goes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, nice little neutral air there. Let's see what we can do here. Definitely charging up the needles, and the wing is still on, too. Yeah. But it's going to be regular old get up of punish. I mean, the up air keeps it even. Let's see what Burst can do to respond. Hasn't really been able to land any Shadow Flares, so kind of just spacing out with these forward airs and neutral airs and the preemptive back airs, yeah. as you said, Ubel. Yeah, and I'm, in my mind, I think, like, Sheik should win this with her just speed right. and the fact that she's able to get in so fast. So it's like kudos to Burst for just being disciplined and just spacing with the back airs for the entire game and just keeping the distance. Wow, interesting, like, missed tech punish there on that forward tilt. Okay, I love that. The crouch down to kind of shift oh. the hurt box, and that, what is it? Oh, punish? Oh, yeah. my goodness. He didn't get to the platform in time. Sephiroth was just a little too light, a little too much knockback in order for that to be a uh, a conversion into a raindrop, but I, reading a roll, a tech roll in with footstool dare is like... Ooh. Oh, oh, my oh reading God. that... <laughs> That was so planned out, too. The confidence of like jumping away into the bouncing fish left. But this is what I love to see from Webb. These confident, extended punishes up till the bouncing fish. 64 into the back air. Oh, my God. That's what I was saying. What does Seth do? <laughs> he just gets he messed loses. up. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's exactly like you were talking about, right? There's this shift where when Burst is in control, it's slow, methodical. Forward airs, back airs. Maybe a neutral air if Webb does try to dash in and not follow it up with an option. But the moment Webb gets around the sword, it was a wrap. Like, one down tilt led into like 60% or threatened to take the stock too, but ended up just taking some more percent instead. It's like a tale as old as time. Like, it's a, you know, 18 year old game of Marth and Sheik is the same concept. You know, once you get around the sword, it's a problem. But if Burst can keep up that spacing, it's a very different game for Webb. And unfortunately for Sephiroth, he doesn't have the same type of keep-away button 
as like a Marth or a Lucina forward air or a like an up tilt or a forward tilt like that. Everything he Ooh. has oh. is centered around set, uh, sp setup and space control, even including the shadow flare. Right. Yeah. So when you set up those big conversions, you got him going on. The uh, fast yeah, fall no. in order to get the octa slash was such Ooh. a nice. Oh, Henry. Ah, I can't. I, Henry. I gotta stop talking. <laughs> What is Whoa. going on? That they're just getting messed up. So <laughs> Pubs just getting messed up. That's your guy. <laughs> it's, it's my dude. The worst part is, right, so 30% from just the Octo Slash. You have a ton of invulnerability at the ledge. So that was just so well-timed from Burst to catch the option instead. Because surely Webb should have been fine if you, know, you just hold on or you pick something safe. But maybe that jump from ledge there getting punished. It's the same idea that we were talking about earlier, AG, but with but the a different pivot. Instead of being preemptive to control the game and play defense, it's preemptive to control the game by getting a huge lead and playing offense. But, yeah, smart from Webb using the up B just to kill the re-grab right there. Yeah, even with Octo Slash, the up B kind of interacts with it perfectly. Sort of intangibility into her bo or hitbox for the hurt box, really good stuff. And they're back to neutral here. Webb's still kind of playing like there's some fight in this game. Because like we said, those punishes have been spectacular. 65 threatening even more by holding on to the ledge right there. But you know, that Sephiroth up special does kind of clear the way. She can't really get caught holding on to the ledge for too long. Yeah. And this has been like the fifth time. Two from the last game and like three from this game. Like Burst has been caught jumping out of disadvantage by Webb. Like straight out of the blast zone. Oh, down here is... Exactly what Burst needed there, not to get hit by the up air or threaten the up smash. So Webb taking 54% after a pretty solid run and looking for a read instead of going for the usual sort of reaction to the rollout. I guess maybe not confident that a uncharged forward smash wouldn't close out the stock from the center, even with it being Sephiroth. Yeah. So, so might have been... Might have been overcomplicating it a little bit, and thus Burst allowed to live just that little bit longer. The down smash closing yeah, out the stock. Not the greatest DR, but. You know. Yeah, I mean, I'm expecting the down smash to descend to the right anyway there, so maybe that's kind of what got Burst as well. Yeah, but what bringing this all the way back? Lost two stocks, like sub 60 right. in the first minute, and now we almost have ourselves to an even game the way this combo is looking. I was going to say, by the end of this combo, it may just be even. Burst, also at least on the back foot, dash tag was a good option to just try and make something happen, maybe seal the deal, just because of the surprising amount of knockback on there. But still on the back foot, love the up till into the bouncing fish, and it is a dead even game after that magnifying glass. Yeah, Burst is panicking a bit too much, a bit too many hasties Ooh. buttons. Burst is on point when it comes to being able to get out of danger, but falling right into it with that drift. Webb constantly was holding down space, waiting for a premature reaction or a like American air dodge, like yeah. just not trying to think about it, always just trying to like get back to center stage, de uh, air dodging in. I'm getting.